it was established in 2007. It's um, a course that integrates information technology with business and it outperforms other courses in its class because of that, that integration and the application of theory to practice. There's also a huge amount of industry linkages. We have mentors from industry who would come in and would teach. We also have, it's a conversion course. So it appeals to students from all disciplines and it teaches them how to do problem solving, how to leverage technology for businesses. So it uh, produces IT managers and uh, de developers, entrepreneurs for the IT sector. It's a 12 month course and it's structured into two parts. So part one is from um, mid September to they're doing their exams in May. And then from um, June to September, you have part two. So part one is developing of core skills and part two is a collaborative industrial project. So they actually get practical experience, unfortunately, without pay, but before they graduate. The uniqueness of it is um, that integration with, um, with industry. We have a huge amount of industry participation in the course. Um, the, it's, so it's, there's the innovation in course design where we have um, the course skills, as I said, would be um, developed in part one of the course. And we invite uh, speakers in uh, to talk to the class about key issues or what they would see as the thing in industry. Um, through the seminar series and um, some of those speakers are mentors for a collaborative project. So there is an awful lot of engagement there where the mentors, IT managers, chief executive officers, entrepreneurs will mentor student groups um, in the second part of the course. We also have um, the in the course delivery, we use we, we talk it's how to leverage the latest technologies. Um, as I said, people coming in, talking to the students. Employability is a huge selling part, part, part of the course, really. Um, we have 100% employment for 2010, 2011 and 2012. We have 97% 90, employment. There is reputation of the course is excellent. Um, our graduates are obviously very happy with the employment rate, but we take graduates from different disciplines and they can see how they can build up on their core, their undergrad course or they might come back from industry so how to build on that how to use technology for for an organization um, the reputation is actually um, we kind of got the stamp of approval we um, recently we won the postgrad course of the year award and that was based on employability and industrial linkages so we're officially the best IT course in Ireland um, our student experience is excellent as well we have a mix from different backgrounds, as I said, but also non-EU students. So there's a varied kind of background or cultures in, in the course. It's a fairly large course because of its popularity, but that hasn't impacted on the quality of the course because we have an awful lot of mentors um, from industry as well as the academics. There is um, the ISBP is a part of the BIS unit. And we have a BIS society, we run sports activities, social activities um, and IT, more IT seminars. The reputation of the staff as well is excellent. Um, we have two, of, including myself, we have a dedicated um, course director, which is me. We have um, staff, the staff members who research in varied areas of IT from um, security, mobile technologies, healthcare, industry. Um, and enterprises, um, anything from cloud data and an analytics. Um, recently, two members of staff were awarded FP sevens, which is over three and a half and four million. We publish in leading journals and conferences, so there's a great reputation uh, with the research as well as the um, the application of practice sure. for their theory. We. In terms of it's because it's conversion course, any student can apply for the course um, as long as you have a 2H2. And if you don't have it and you have a lot of professional experience, you can still apply for our course. And we get people from industry who are um, who have been working from te for 10, 15 years, want to come back and they want to change direction mm -hmm. and go into the IT area because there's a huge or you would have seen in newspapers, there's a huge increase in the demand for IT graduates. 
Um, we have people who would apply for, from previous years and including this year, we have people who've worked in construction, um, PE, um, arts, law, uh, philosophy, commerce, every course, computer science come in to can apply for, to, for the MBS and ISBP. Um, we attract also uh, international students uh, because as well because of the support we, pr- we provide and the, the IT business integration of the two. So every type of course, <laughs> every type of student. In part one of the course, so the core skills, and we presume that students don't know anything about technology, about business, so you t- you're thought from scratch. Um, you have web development, which is electronic business models. So if they want to become web developers, they can go on. There is database development. There is application modeling, which is essentially taking a business problem and kind of specking out a technology solution that would fit. We have enterprise intelligence and the way I explain that is that if you think of a large supermarket chain like Dunn Stores, they kind of build up data or they profile their their customers. So every business does that and it's looking at kind of data trends and using that to be more competitive. We have a storage technology course, which is sponsored by EMC. Um, Again, that's looking at cloud computing, storage, and looking at the value of technology and getting the most from technology. There is a course called um, insourcing and outsourcing IT. So whether an organization should use an internal IT department or outsource to another organization. And our graduates can work in any sector. So consultancy, manufacturing, uh, financial services, every area um, that has an IT section. And the second, well, we have a seminar series, as I mentioned, inviting speakers in to talk about hot topics. And um, the second part, which is very popular in interviews and with um, potential employers, is the collaborative industrial project. And um, we had nine companies this year who wanted to sponsor a project. Eight of them were selected by the students. The students in groups will work with mentors and they'll come up with a solution to that um, company's problem. And it's a real problem, so they get very good experience. Are the companies this year EMC, um, QMOS, which is a leading Irish compliance company. Um, we have Molly Communications, social media. Um, we have um, Permanent TSB, Bank of Ireland, uh, CWSI, which is an Irish mobile technology company. We have Citco, Financial Services, uh, Financial Services Innovation Centre and others. Well, the hundred percent, almost one hundred percent employment we have um, in companies that would have kind of like um, web developers. Um, a lot of them go into business an- analysts, so looking at a business and to see what technology can make them more competitive. With people who've gone into auditing, um, with people who've gone into uh, database development, on they've started some have started up their own business, gone into IT support. Some have been com- gone on to become lecturers, enterprise intelligence, as I said. Um, technology support.